Hi, I'm State Senator Tracy McCreary. Just wanted to give you a short weekly update. I was visited by a lot of really important community members this week. Firefighters were in the building for a couple of days, and it was great to uh, hear from those first responders and issues that are important to them. Also, on Thursday, a lot of pediatricians were in the building. They are here. Uh, working to educate colleagues on the importance of passing the postpartum health care coverage and also uh, working on some other issues as it relates to children's health care. Speaking of which, Senate bills 45 and 90, uh, a bill that I co-sponsored with a Republican senator, um, had a hearing in the House last week and it was voted out of that House committee uh, 15 to 0. And good news, uh, the some of the problematic language that will that could possibly jeopardize its approval through the federal government was removed. So there's still a long way to go, but we have about a month left in session, and I remain hopeful that we can get this really important life-saving postpartum health care extension coverage passed. Uh, this week, I had a bill, Senate Bill 554, heard, and that is the, it's kind of an all-encompassing right to repair bill. So for years, we've had right to repair for vehicles like automobiles and such, and that was because the auto industry and uh put together a memo of understanding that basically allows people that own cars to have access to manuals, diagnostics, parts, tools, that kind of thing, so that they can either do their own auto repairs themselves or choose an, an independent uh, repair shop to do that. So what I'm trying to do for other products that all of us own is to give us those same rights. So to summarize what my bill does is it would require original equipment manufacturers to provide our constituents, also known as consumers, and independent repair businesses equal access to documentation, diagnostic, diagnostics, tool, parts, and firmware, just the same as they provide their authorized repair providers. I truly believe that when we buy something, we own it, and that means we get to decide who does the repairs on our products, whether we're talking about a cell phone, washing machine, tractor, whatever the case may be. So um, the hearing went really well, and I will keep you posted on its progress. So thank you for tuning in, and I will uh, be in touch next week.